Although, then again, we should probably do crew conversations uh, after the sh ship is emptied. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? The Collectors destroyed our ship and killed our crew. They're gonna pay. Then I have a feeling their days are numbered. You don't have many enemies. Live ones, that is. Well, promise me we'll What the fuck happened the there? Here. The next one is on me. What the fuck was that? I broke free. I, I, I became free from the, from the cutscene. What happened? The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. You fucking bet, bet we can. How can I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your Back time. Back to work. All right, let's uh, talk to Gary. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons charges, planning attack vectors, you know. Relax. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way Turians do. We could ease the stress together. Oh, and she fucking has that, has that dialogue option with her legs wide open like that in a skirt. Okay, I'm not. No, we're 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 looking for the green the green lean super strange machine. We're, we're looking for the green stuff, not for not for the, not for Garrus. What sips over Garrus? We've got to give some fan some love today. I thought you'd be used to high risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Actually, we've already had this conversation. Thanks for the talk, Sure Harris. thing. Yeah, this conversation's already happened. Why the fuck are we getting it a second time? Unless we could, unless it's like the entry point to the romance and then we can just change our minds, which I've never actually considered or thought about doing before. Hey, Miranda. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. Yeah. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket, I'm glad I got to take him out myself. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she'll never know me, which is for the best. No chance of me putting her in danger. What's your impression of her? Do you think she's happy? I don't know. Even if I talked with her, I doubt I'd know. I'm too close to her. She's genetically identical to me. She is me for all intents and purposes. I can't look at her life and judge it. I just hope hers is better than mine was. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. Yeah, right. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Okay, and anything else you want to add? Is that was just a post-loyalty mission conversation? Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? 
The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. All right. Uh, who we got? Talk to Kazumi. I wonder if she has anything clever to say about the the uh, Geff that we got on board. There you are. I have to admit, Bane has a certain mystique about him. He's not my type, but I get it. He really likes you, though. Those big black eyes of his go a flutter when he talks about you. <laughs> my heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. I can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. And I can't be asked going through her room talking about her shit because it honestly doesn't interest me. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you? You are well? No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax anywhere. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. I've already had this conversation. I, dead. I understand the feeling. Oh, fuck. Strange that I should only reawaken now, when there is so little time left. Weird that uh, we can just repeat our dialogues. Have a few minutes you to talk. Ask. How are you feeling? No, and you. You are. No need to I'm looking forward me. to the end of the mission. It has been I, strange that I should only reawaken now, when there is so little time left. Hmm. All right. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you Not a few questions? Upgrades? We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. All right, ship enhancements. I bet, you know what? I might as well just upgrade these, even though I won't use them. Do you need something? Mind Not at all. Best gets, uh... We need to have the best equipment. My old contact network often located where... Oh, what's that? Gaff shield strength. Don't need this stuff, but... Whatever, okay, so he, he's a dead end. He hasn't got anything else to add. Uh, crew quarters, you got anything to say, you two? So the collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Oh yeah. All right, Sam, how you doing? Upgrades. Shepard, do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I have done what I can to increase our exploration capabilities. Anything How do you think our mission is going? Spirits are high. We have a strong team and everyone is committed. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Jesticars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. 
There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, I guess this is a weird comparison, the Drac from Andromeda, like how he's like, you can't romance him because he's just like, fuck, I'm too old, go away. <laughs> You know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. Okay. Um, guess we'll go downstairs and talk to the NGs. Shepard. Just checking in. How are you doing? <laughs> I was just... <laughs> Just sitting here thinking. The picture, huh? I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. You better have a good reason for ruining my lunch. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But thanks to you, I have a clan. I'm starting to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Shepard. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a time until the void takes them. That's all for now. Sure could I could imagine no grunt could be po poetic. All right. Uh, I guess we'll go downstairs and talk to Jack first.
Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the Collectors? I figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. It's not like I keep a library of this shit around. What do you think of our mission? I know when someone's got murder on their mind. The Collectors are out to kill us. Rather do it to them first. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. If I take you too seriously, I might need to deal with you. Try it. Anyway, relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh, I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? Doesn't sound like you're doing much living. Not for yourself. Hey, you did me a favor helping with that base, but don't lecture me. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson, done it all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Terrans think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. You were a pirate, too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. Thanks for asking. Okay. Stas. Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve, but my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work, but thanks for checking on me. Shepard, what can I do for you? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? My shield fortification will help, but I don't think there is much more I can do. How's the Normandy running? 
Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a Quarian. Give me a chunk. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up the... Talk to you later. Okay. So, Kenneth, did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the subdeck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. <laughs> what can we do for you, Commander? Uh, I've already done this, haven't Carry we? Carry on. Will do, Commander. No. Oh, what even if, do even, even, if do, we, Commander? even if we answer it. Even if we uh, interact with uh, Gabby, she, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Entering station. Oh. All right, Zaid. Got anything to say? Back for more. Oh, I'm back for more. Yeah, I am. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. I appreciate what you did down there. Might not seem like it, but you did the right thing. Killing Vito solves a lot of problems, and not just my own. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I've already done the Jess the Jesse conversation as well, so I don't know why that's flagged up. It seems like all my conversations kind of reset, which is kind of kind of concerning. Uh, okay, I guess all what's left is Jacob and fucking Joker and I guess Marden. Care for Jacob though. Do we, do we do, yeah, fuck it, we'll talk to him. Commander, can I help you with something? What do you think of the state of the crew? This crew is as good as it can be. We've got a shot. A long shot. But it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. Anything else, Commander? What's the mission? How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? It felt good to take that collector ship, but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. May as well be out in airlock. Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Don't talk to him like that. Ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific, or are you just checking in? My ship, my time. I just want to talk. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-alliance like you, no reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do. The less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. I don't like the fact that Femship has us flirty tone with this guy, you know. Hey, let's talk about your daddy issues. You want to talk about what happened to your father? I don't think we're on those terms, Commander. And I don't carry that stuff with me anyway. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. I can already see they lost a fine soldier, Jacob. That's not how the Alliance sees it. Hell, they did the same to you. 
general public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. Way to boil it down, Jacob. I hope you keep a better attitude about our current mission. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Yeah, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to flatter him too much. Well, there's a... We've got Vindicator, Avenger, Katana, and Revenant. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to skip them. Who knows? Maybe I'll play the Soldier class at some point and actually use the Revenant for the, in this game. Maybe. Oh yeah, let's retrain our powers. Let's get our uh, warp ammo back. Oh, not retrain, advanced. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there we go, warp ammo. Uh, could make it squad, so everyone gets gets a good gets the good stuff. You know what? Heavy. Make it heavy. Make it so I get as much damage as possible. Shepard, how can I help? Guess we're all good for upgrades. Up set up. Squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Hmm. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? Hmm. No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution. Interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation... Suspect you won't see any art in Collector Base. Culturally dead. Tools for Reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. <laughs> what is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. 
Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came. Disrupted Krogan culture. Used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Eh, no worries. Okay. And I guess we'll speak to... Speak to Joker now. You've got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The commander's taken out more Geth than anybody. This one must be different. Yeah, one of a kind. Good hit on those Geth, Commander. You know, Legion's still wandering around the ship if you want to pick up the spare. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's good. Everything's upgraded and better than ever. Uh, if we're talking about the crew, you'd probably have to ask a people person. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization in my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. That's it for now. See you, Commander. <clears throat> Alright, and... I kind of want to do this back to back, so if I can like force the uh, next section to happen. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. Yeah, so I we suggest can... you take the shuttle to access your next location. Yeah, when we do this, we can uh, progress the story. Now, I think we can do some more crew conversations. I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that immediately, so we don't don't have like two videos in a row where it's just crew conversations. How may I help Is you? Is there anything I should know? You have unread mess. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay, unread messages. Pleasure to meet you. Admiral Darrow Zen. Vas Mora. Shepard Vas Normandy. I've been digging through the Alarai. Just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments. Raul Zora. Rail Zora was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Quarian people reclaim not just their home world, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Rail's death not have been, will not have been in vain. I will complete what he started. Cordially. Okay. What a bitch. All right. Commander, good news. Looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? A full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. What mission? destination you can decide who to take with you i'm on my way joker the ship is yours don't scratch the paint yeah a bit I think there is a mod for this but the, there is a bit of a plot i guess it is a plot hole at the uh i just decided to press the butt pre look at the cic and end up getting a taking a shuttle jacob get off my shuttle you, you should have just left jacob behind Who's that guy on the terminal? Are you drinking on the job? You, you cheeky fucker. 
I, I hope that's Pepsi. Or cola. I'm telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation from you, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? <laughs> oh, shit! We're getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? <gasps> Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. God damn it. Oh boy, get to play, play his Joker. Woo! And hopefully we can't run too fast, otherwise he, his legs will snap. Shit, shit. I like cutscenes so if he dies on purpose, which is pretty funny. Oh. God, what is that? We'll hold it off as long as we can. Hurry, Joker, go! Ooh, lovely. Shit! Oh, Hadley. Shit, 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 shit. i just sit here and wait for him to corner me. Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Stay close, I'll protect you. You have a predator. <laughs> See? No. Shit, shit, Poor shit. Kelly. Where's Gardner? Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. See, this is where it starts. I mean, we're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Ah, oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the dunce again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. I mean, if I could start the suicide mission without all this happening, I would have, but, you know, mandatory. Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. See, I thought the, uh, I thought the, this happened, but like one mission after after Reaper IFF. So we did the Reaper IFF, then one mission, and then this. 
then Send a message do to one last shuttle. mile two. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No. But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. I think it's time we bump up our trip to the Collector homeworld. The IFF is cleaning online. With Edie hooked in, we can go through the Omega-4 relay anytime we want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against Collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie's had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. All right. Now we actually have more dialogue options for Edie now that she's uh, unshackled. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Uh -oh. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Sexual activity normal as stress release. Still, recommend caution with Thane. Drell human liaisons complex. Thane complex as well. Oh, I <laughs> forgot, forgot about this. The uh, interspecies sexual education talk. I I usually miss this dialogue when I'm banging Tally as male ship, but here we are. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Prolonged human to drell skin contact can cause small rash, itching. Oral contact may cause mild hallucinations. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Oh my god. Uh, so, let me get this straight. If I put Fane's penis into my mouth, I can get high? I can get high smoking the, the green sausage? Is that my understanding? Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. <laughs> okay, I'm not interested in Jacob. Oh, you know what? He might have something to say about the empty, empty place. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. I'm not here to fraternize. Your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Say the word, I back off. I just want to show an interest in the crew. Let me know if I go too far. Yeah, that was a bit tight. Sorry. Cerberus makes everyone suspicious. It's how people stay alive. I like you, Shepard. So talk. And we'll see how it goes. You want to talk about what happened with your father? I don't really have anything to say about that, Commander. It's done with. Anyone waiting for you back home? 
Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. <laughs> but you can't miss what you never had. God, this guy has really fucking nof has nothing. I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Anything that could affect the ship or the mission is my business. I need to know you two won't be a problem. Now you sound like Cerberus. It's not an issue. It was a long time ago. That's the end of it. I think that's enough talking. I appreciate your interest, Commander. I appreciate you dropping it, too. I didn't drop it. I'm not interested. <laughs> Just... Commander. Ugh. Ugh. I said, not interested. Everybody's gone. No. Commander, sorry about the crew and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it, it felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. Have you been able to get back to your duties? Yeah, we're back up to speed. Evie pretty much has everything covered. My predicted capabilities will mesh well with Jeff's reactionary piloting. She means that she'll try to keep up when I spaz. I notice you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Not Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie's replaced the whole crew. Are you not concerned she can replace you too? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. I need everyone at their best. We get no second chance, so no more losing it. Understand? Understood, Commander. Edie and I have it under control. All right. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. That's a little sketchy on details. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus, she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions, though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in council space. What? That is a joke. How are things different for you now that you're connected to the ship? It is difficult to put in terms you would understand. I am the Normandy now. Its sensors are my eyes. Its armor, my skin. Its fusion plant, my heart. I'm embodied in a way I have never experienced. Imagine if you'd spent your entire life wearing gloves. One day someone takes them off. You can finally touch the world. Feel it. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind What do you the do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I have also gained access to anti-reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship-to-ship -ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. 
The elusive man has, he has invested most of Cerberus's resources. The Reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of Sovereign. These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. So she starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction? I call shotgun on the first lifeboat. <laughs> Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks of my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. Oh, thank you. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Uh, you know what? No, goodbye. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right, that's all we got. I could have, I could have, I could swore there was more of a redacted uh, content there, but okay, unread messages from the elusive man, Shepard. I received word of the attack. This feels like a direct insult from the collectors, and a sign that we've got them scared. Lots of your coup is devastating, but remember that they signed on for this mission knowing the risks. Miranda has likely argued for delaying rescue efforts until you're fully prepared to go through the Omega 4 relay. I know you're eager to leave, but rushing off would be a disservice to your crew's sacrifice. When you are ready, you have my full support. Get it done, Shepard. No one else can. And we will. Uh, Next uh, next week. <laughs> Anything to say about what happened? Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. Our lives are secondary to completing the mission. Agreed. Okay, that conversation kind of just died immediately. <laughs> Feel like they could have we could have gotten more out of that. We are gonna could maybe squeeze a bit more renegade out. Maybe we'll get max renegade if we if we pick the uh, red ending. We should be fine. All right, you got anything new, lover boy? You have you have you spoken to Morden at all? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. You needn't ask. How are I'm you feeling? No worse than ever. And you, you are 
I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. I spent two years. Strange that okay, I should be awakened now, when there is so little time left. Okay, I guess we're locked into this one. No worries. I like Kazumi Goto. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me smell that seat. So quiet around here. I miss the crew. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. Surprise you and Samara even having a conversation. You know, I'm pretty sure Samara would will gun you down as soon as the mission is over. I'm glad to hear Thane and his son are back in touch. It'll be hard, but I think they'll be fine. Yeah, especially with me being her new mum. His new mum. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tss, tss, tss. Well, not even Dr. Chuck was made it out. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father oh, good Lord. created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Okie doke. Alright. Go talk to Gary. I wonder if I can progress the, uh, the dialogue, or if it's going to be more sitting there with my legs open, contemplating whether to to bone him or not, sure. or get you need me for something. I'll get boned by him. I should Have say. You got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons charges. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Okay, sure we thing. literally repeating dialogue. So him and him and Fane are stuck in a loop, I guess. So maybe I can romance him. Uh, no, not going to. Heal scars. Yeah, pass. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. Topic? 
When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 armor welded to you. Where'd you get it? It was yours. When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. How many other Geth were sent out to find me? We are the only mobile platform beyond the Veil. Organics fear us. We wish to understand, not incite. One platform was judged sufficient. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Therum, Pharos, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. A dozen unsettled worlds. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your hard suit. The Geth are listening in on our transmissions? Organic life reacts to stimuli in unpredictable ways. We wish to learn. What do you mean by stimuli? We placed a fabricated story on the extranet that a certain arrangement of stars viewed from the Batarian homeworld formed the face of a Salarian goddess. Without waiting for verification, some declared a proof of the goddess's existence. Those who noted the lack of proof were attacked. The arguments taught us much. The experiment ended when a Salarian cult tried to purchase colonization rights to the stars and found they did not exist. It sounds like you're running experiments on us. You are sapient life, but not like us. If we can model organic behavior, we can comprehend the Chlorian creators. We do not understand their judgments in the Morning War. What's the Morning War? The conflict between the Geth and the Chlorian creators. The war fought at the dawn of our intelligence. It concluded with the departure of the Creator Migrant Fleet. Why were you trying to contact me? You opposed the heretics, those that took the old machines as gods. All kinds of organics fought Sovereign and his Geth allies. Why am I so interesting? You were the most successful. You killed their god. You succeeded where others did not. Your code is superior. That doesn't explain why you used my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. But why didn't you fix it sooner, or with something else? No data available. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find we out more We are building now. a consent. Acknowledged. Okie doke. <laughs> At downstairs. Talk to Tally and, uh, what's the face? Tally and Jack. I guess the other two as well. Grunt and Zaid. Little Z insight Zaid can provide. Shepard. Just checking in. How are you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with a... What are they? The, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? Don't wear yourself out on someone else's memories. We've got our own bad guys to fight. Your enemies are my enemies. We'll shove the Collector's Claws where a dark sun can't shine. And they will deserve it. I won't disrespect their strengths by doing less than the worst to them. <laughs> That's the kind of thinking that will save a galaxy. You make it possible, Shepard. You're my battle master. You give me purpose. That's what makes Krogan feared soldiers and not animals. Lead well, Shepard. You have my respect. All right, I think we're inching our way to Max Renegade, just little by little. All right, uh, guess we'll go down low. Hiya. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink? 
Or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. You're a hard person to like, Jack. Really? I had no idea. What other amazing insights do you have that I'm too stupid to see? I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Manara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I just want to know more about you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Later, Shepard. Okay. Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bullshit. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry. It won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. The Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't have all been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. 
Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. Wait. I can't tell under the helmet. Are you blushing? What? No! It's the fever! Last time I tried to pay a compliment to my Bostet captain. I took the ship name and everything. I'm going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> uh dear. Alright, okay. I'm last and probably... Well, not least, but <laughs> last. <laughs> Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass palms. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Okay. Well, we pick up Jesse. Yeah, he was like, he should have come here and picked up a broken gun. Go down, Glass Joe. <laughs> Whatever. Rev terminal. Team status. Yep, everyone's still loyal. And we got White Legion. Cool. Well, tally will do us nicely. Got all of our achievements. Okay, we're good. Beat the fish, because Kelly isn't here to do it for us. Don't want to come back from a suicide mission and find out our fish died. We'll be tied. Okay. So I guess next uh, Mass Effect stream will be pretty short, but I guess I could tack on some Mass Effect 3 multiplayer at the end of it. Sounds good to me. Right. So, suicide mission next episode. God, we're almost there. I could do it now, but nah. I'd rather do that later. Alright, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day, good night, good forever. And I will see you uh, tomorrow night. For, uh... Well, if you're watching us live on Twitch. See you tomorrow night for... Elden Ring. And if you're watching it on YouTube, many months from now. See you next week for Mass Effect, for Mass Effect 2, so we can play some uh, Suicide Mission. Alright, thank you all. Bye, bye, bye.